Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to talk about password security and specifically how to manage your passwords using a password manager. Uh, in today's case, I'm going to use one password because that is the application that I use. So let's get going. Okay, so passwords, passwords, passwords. Uh, the bane of existence uh, for the modern uh, human being, right? Uh, everybody has to deal with passwords in one form or another uh, if you are digital in any way or form. If you have a smartphone or if you use a computer, uh, if you buy on Amazon, uh, you pay your power bill, any of these uh, activities are going to require you to uh, create and maintain and manage passwords. So um, what is the best way to do it? So I'm going to jump in I'm gonna, and I'm going to talk about uh, how to use uh, the one password manager. It's the password manager that I use. There are other ones out there and I'm not putting uh, anyone down. I'm not advocating one password over any other password manager, but I am going to advocate that you use a password manager for security and convenience. Uh, so uh, let me jump into this topic. All right, so uh, I've been doing a little bit of digging in uh, the way that Chrome stores passwords. And I had heard that uh, it's not as secure as the way that a password manager would uh, store your passwords. Uh, Chrome, uh, as you know, you can save passwords in Chrome and uh, Chrome will store those passwords on your computer and you have access to them. Uh, you can look at them if you um, are logged into your computer. And so if someone were to sit down at your computer while you were logged in, they would pretty much have access to all of your passwords uh, to a certain extent. Now there are some mitigating circumstances here uh, if you have lock screen on your computer and you've walked away and it's gone to lock screen, then they will need your Windows password. Uh, but there are ways to get themselves, there are ways that an attacker could log themselves in to your uh, machine uh, when you're not around. Now, uh, if you have a password manager and they've managed to log themselves into the machine, there, there are a little more security steps that they would have to bypass in order to gain access to the uh, password manager uh, list of passwords. I guess uh, even though, as it turns out, Google uh, stores passwords a little more secure than I thought, uh, you're more secure using a password manager. It stores your passwords in an encrypted format much more secure than the way uh, Google stores your passwords or uh, Chrome or Firefox or any of the other browsers. So, and if you're not using your browser to save your passwords and you're just using the same old password over and over again, uh, you definitely need a password manager. All right, so uh, first of all, uh, let's talk about how uh, 1Password works. All right, uh, so it's they have a website where you can purchase the product, and you'll notice that uh, it is, of course, you have to buy it, and it is a uh, subscription-based piece of software. So uh, you do need to keep paying them uh, in order to use this password manager. And uh, so that might take you aback from the beginning uh, but in today's modern world, uh, using a password manager uh, is more secure and more convenient when you get right down to it. And I can uh, explain a few little things that have always helped me using this password manager. So uh, you're going to need to uh, sign up for a, a subscription-based uh, period of time. I would just jump in and buy it myself. It's not that much for a full year, uh, much less than uh, say Adobe or Microsoft or any of their software suites. So uh, I've used the family version, 
which uh, I have uh, a few computers here at the house that uh, my kids and my wife use and they can uh, I can install it on their computer I can share certain passwords with them uh, like the Wi-Fi or maybe the Amazon uh, whatever uh, you choose to share with your family and then also they can create their own private set of passwords that they can use alright so I'm going to go ahead and get myself signed in and I'm actually going to use one password to sign into my one password account online all right and so now this is the interface where I can manage my account and create vaults and uh, share them with others and uh, so once you have established an account you can install the apps okay so uh, this is just an interface where you manage the account but what you really need to do uh, to use it is to install it on your computer. All right, and so you can see here that they have several ways to install it. They have a Mac version, a Windows version, an iOS version, an Android version, and a Chrome version. And that's interesting. <laughs> so uh, the first step would be to uh, download the Windows version, save it to your computer, and then just go over and run the install all right and when I did that it actually updated my one password app and just launched it in your case you know it's gonna go through the install now the main thing you'll wanna do uh, with one password is create uh, a master password and uh, please don't <laughs> uh, this is serious business so you want your master password to be long and complicated you're only really going to need to use it uh, one time uh, when you get logged into your computer. Once you've got that password entered for the first time, there are some other tricks and shortcuts that you can use to access the one password. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and enter my uh, master password so you can see what the interface looks like. All right, and as you can see, when we get into the One Password app, that uh, this is our master control. Uh, this is where you can you can see all of your accounts that you have stored here, and uh, you can store a lot of accounts, almost an unlimited amount of accounts. So you can see I have 285 logins. Uh, you can create secure notes. You can save your credit card details. Uh, you can create identities that you can use to autofill on websites and all of this is uh, stored in an encrypted format and is very convenient for you to use whenever you log into your accounts all right now so the first thing that you would do when you log into your computer is log into the one password app all right and that what that does is it en enables all of the browser apps so uh, as you can see up here in my browser I have a plugin that I can use to log into websites all right now I could uh, use the app right if I go to a particular website let's say I want to go to adobe.com I could just copy that password into my clipboard and just log in that way uh, and everything would be saved here that would be a little more inconvenient it's much more convenient to uh, download the one password browser extension okay so this one password X for Google Chrome is sort of a standalone version of the password manager uh, which sort of requires you to log in separately the best and most convenient way is to use the Chrome browser extension uh, and I'm using Brave it works in Brave too so uh, let me show you how that one works all right we just go over to the Google Chrome store and then we'll search for one password all right so we don't want the one password X right we want the one password extension now the reason that I like this one is that I can uh, install this in multiple browsers 
uh, Chrome. Uh, I don't know that it works in Firefox. Uh, it might. There might be a Firefox version of it. Uh, but the interesting thing is that once I launch my app, right, and I sign into my app, uh, then uh, the password uh, manager extension uh, is enabled. So I only have to log in once. If I use password X in multiple browsers, I'll have to log into each browser. Uh, and you may want to do it that way, but I much prefer to only log in once. Now I've logged in to one password already, but you'll notice that it goes, uh, uh, it, I, I would call it going to sleep, and uh, you'll have to log in, re log into it uh, occasionally. Uh, so that means that even when I'm using the computer, uh, one password uh, is going to require me to log in. Now you may say, oh my God, I'm gonna have to put that master password in every single time. Uh, I need to uh, get access to my password manager. But you'll notice there are two options here. There's the uh, unlock using secure desktop, which uh, pretty much takes over the entire screen and requires you to enter your master password. But if you have Windows Hello enabled, you can unlock it with Windows Hello. So that's pretty cool. So in the case of using Windows Hello, the only thing I need to do is log in using the fingerprint reader. And I could also use my PIN, right? And so some of you who don't have a fingerprint reader might wanna just use your Windows PIN. So uh, that makes life much easier. So I'm just gonna swipe my fingerprint on there and open everything up again. And that gives me uh, full access to all of my passwords. Now, uh, you say, how does this work? Uh, let's take a look. Let's uh, log into one of my websites. I'm gonna log into one of my crypto exchanges. I'm gonna go to Coinbase and I'm gonna hit sign in. Now that the sign in window is active, I can go over here to this browser extension pull it down and I don't need to swipe my finger because I only I did it just a few seconds ago. Now I'll just click on the icon of the account that I want to uh, the credentials that I want to add into this uh, web interface and it knows I'm on the Coinbase website so it's providing that as the uh, login. So I'll just click and it fills and logs me in. Uh, of course I'm still going to need my two-factor authentication to log in, uh, but that's pretty cool. So if I go to any website where uh, perhaps I need to pay a bill or something of that nature, then uh, all I need to do is uh, pull in, pull up the sign in screen. And, uh, and then even if the username is already filled, it knows that it just needs to put the password in there, right? So pretty cool. Now, uh, let me talk about the convenience of the one password manager and why I choose to use it. Uh, back in the day when I uh, would reinstall my operating system from scratch, uh, the first thing that I would do would be to get logged into my browser because that's where all my bookmarks were and all of my accounts. And then uh, I would uh, instantly have access to all of accounts that I needed to log into to use my computer, basically. Uh, now, uh, my go-to application, when I reinstall uh, my fresh operating system, is my password manager. It has all of my passwords. When I install a fresh copy of Windows, the first one of the first things that I'll do is log uh, install the password manager software and get logged in. And that will allow me to access all of the other accounts that I need to get set up. It's basically uh, my life uh, in this password manager. Now, uh, the first way that I started using uh, 1Password was the iOS app. So I'll just show you that very quickly. So uh, you can see here that I have it on my uh, first screen of my phone. It's a go-to app for me. And in the case of the phone, I can uh, use my Face ID to log in and gain access to it. 
Now this is very convenient when you're on the road. Uh, you're at someone else's house and uh, say your parents or your aunt and your daughter wants to sign into her Roblox account. I have all of that information stored in this phone and so I can log them in temporarily uh, but not have to save it on someone else's computer. So it's uh, really good. And uh, anytime, say, you need to log into your Gmail account or any other account uh, while you're out and about and on someone else's computer, you've got your passwords with you at all times. Uh, I can't tell you how convenient it is uh, when you're presented with that password dialogue to have them all saved in your phone and all saved on your computer uh, so that you don't have to remember all of your passwords wherever you go. And it allows you to create complicated passwords that are hard to crack and uh, you're not using the same password for every website. Uh, that's another uh, security flaw in most people's password strategies is that they will use the exact same password on multiple websites and also uh, they may use the same password with a slight variation at the end, which is also very insecure. So we've got a uh, password management that's very convenient. Uh, we can use multiple passwords that are complicated, long, difficult, hard to crack, uh, but convenient for you to use. You can carry them around on your secure devices, uh, which will be difficult for an attacker to gain access to and uh, store your passwords in encrypted format uh, that are highly secure will protect your uh, important data. So thanks for joining me on this uh, short discussion about uh, password managers and how important they are and how uh, easy they can make your life in the end with a little bit, there's a little bit of a learning curve on how to use them, but uh, once you've got it installed and start using it, uh, it's going to make your life so much simpler. Don't forget, I have a live stream every Friday night. Please join me for the live Q&A in LA, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Join me and throw out any questions that you may have. I'll do my best to get them answered. Or just join in the discussion and have fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.